I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Egyptian god T-H-O-T-H. -H. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Take three fingers in the center and put a dot. And from that dot going towards the right, we're going to draw a straight line, curve line up. Come back to the dot, going towards the left, straight line, curve line up. Now come back and let's mimic that line. Little curve line down, straight line, little curve line up, connect. Right about here we're just going to draw a big curve line up, over, connect. Right underneath, starting towards the left, I'm going to draw a big curve line down, around, and leave it floating. Come back on the right hand side, we're going to draw a curve line down, straight diagonal in, curve line down, and connect. Come right up to this point and we're going to draw a big curve line down. Come over here about this point, we're going to draw another curve line down, connect. Right here in the center, we draw another curve line down and connect. Come inside, right about here towards the center, we draw a curve line up, down. Underneath, we're going to mimic that line, draw a curve line up, down. Come back to the left, draw a big curve line over, connect. Come inside and draw a little curve line. Okay, starting right here on the left at this point, we're going to draw a big curve line down off the page. Come back up, draw another big curve line down off the page. Come inside and draw curve line, jump over, curve line off the page. I think that's about all I can fit. Now come on the right hand side, right about here midpoint, draw a big curve line down off the page, come in, another one off the page, one more down off the page. If you have room, starting on the left right here, just draw me a wavy, wavy line, connect. If you can fit it in, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is the ibis bird. It's a sea water bird that you find, I think, on the Nile. This part right here, I'm going to color yellow. I'm going to leave everything else alone. This part, I'm going to color orange all the way down. This is his beak. Then I'm going to color this section light green all the way over. If you have room, you can fit down here at the bottom. And then on the interior part, representing the water, I think, this part I'm going to do blue green. Okay? Now I chose as my color combo. I did purple, an ABC pattern, purple, turquoise or blue green for my next row. This is his headdress. And then, what is this? Red violet, sorry. Red violet all the way down. Okay? And then I do it again, purple. Some of you might have more stripes than others. Continue your pattern. Now I jump over and I'm going to do this, red-violet, and I'm going to do the outer part, purple. 
You could add more lines, take away more lines, but this is basically it. Okay? Then I just came in and using my drawing black, I just filled this in black. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, when I do my drawing, I always do a finished sample, and that's what this is. So you can see I got in more lines of color, and I made this a little bit more intense in color also. But basically, that's it. He was also represented as a baboon, but I went with the water bird Ibis. Okay, bye-bye.